And we do begin with this breaking news. The NTSB has released its preliminary report on the dive boat fire from Labor Day that claimed the lives of 34 people below deck. Good afternoon. Thanks for being with us. I'm Dina Kupfer. That preliminary report does not determine a cause of the fire, but we do know the entire crew was asleep when the fire started. The surviving crew members gave their accounts of what happened in the overnight hours of September 2nd. One of the five crew members asleep on the upper deck woke up to a noise and then saw a fire on the sun deck coming from the salon on the second level. The captain radioed a distress message immediately as crew members tried to get below deck. The ladder was already on fire. The window would not open. The crew jumped overboard, then three of them, including the captain, swam to the other side of the boat and reboarded. They saw no fire in the engine room. Those crew members were eventually rescued. You can read the entire two-page report on our website right now. It is at CBS13.com. And right now, crews are working to pull the conception from the water near the Channel Islands. It involves a coordinated effort between the salvage vessel and teams of divers in the water. There are steps now being taken to secure the vessel in its current condition for investigative purposes. Crews did recover the body of the very last victim yesterday. The 21 women and 13 men all appear to have died from smoke inhalation. The Coast Guard issued additional safety recommendations following that deadly fire. The recommendations include limiting unsupervised charging of lithium ion batteries and use of power strips and extension cords as well.